Can you solve this in under 30 seconds? Most people can't see the hidden pattern. The variable x appears in two different exponents, but there's a clever trick that transforms this into something much simpler. Let's find it. Our first goal is to rewrite the equation in a more manageable form using the laws of exponents. We begin with the original equation. The key is to handle the term 2 to the power of 1 minus x. We can break this apart using a fundamental exponent rule. The rule states that a base a raised to the power of m minus n is equal to a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. Applying this rule to our term, we get 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of x equals 3. Now we can simplify the numerator, 2 to the power of 1. Since 2 to the power of 1 is simply 2, the equation is now fully simplified. The structure of this equation suggests a substitution will simplify it into a more familiar form. Notice that the term 2 to the power of x appears in two places. This repetition is a clear signal. We can define a new variable to represent this term, which will transform the equation. Let's define a new variable, y, to be equal to 2 to the power of x. Substituting y into the equation gives us a much simpler rational expression. y plus 2 divided by y equals 3. Now, we will convert this into a standard quadratic equation and solve for y. To eliminate the fraction, our strategy is to multiply the entire equation by the denominator, which is y. Multiplying every single term by y gives us this expression. Now we simplify each term. y times y becomes y squared. The y in the second term cancel, and y times 3 becomes 3, y. The result is a clean quadratic equation. y squared plus 2 equals 3. Why? To solve this, we must first arrange it into the standard form. ax squared plus b. x plus c equals 0. Subtracting 3y from both sides gives us y squared minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. This quadratic can be factored. We are looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 2 and add up to negative 3. The numbers that satisfy these conditions are negative 1 and negative 2. This gives us the factored form. To find the solutions for y, we use the zero product property. If the product of two factors is zero, then at least one of the factors must be zero. This means we have two possible cases to solve. Either y minus 1 is zero, or y minus 2 is 0. Solving these simple linear equations gives us two solutions for y, y equals 1, or y equals 2. Now that we have the values for our temporary variable y, we must substitute back to find the values for x. Let's recall our original substitution, where y is defined as 2, to the power of x. In our first case, we set y equal to 1. This implies that 2 to the power of x equals 1. To solve for x, we need to express 1 as a power with a base of 2. Any non-zero number to the power of 0 is 1. Therefore, we can rewrite the equation as 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 0. Since the bases are equal, the exponents must also be equal. This gives us our first solution, x equals 0. In our second case, we set y equal to 2, which implies 2 to the power of x equals 2. Similarly, we can write 2 as 2 to the power of 1. This gives the equation 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 1. Equating the exponents, gives our second solution x equals 1. We can and should verify these algebraic solutions graphically. 
Let's plot each side of the original equation as a separate function. The left side, y equals 2 to the x plus 2 to the 1 minus x, and the right side, y equals 3. The solutions to the equation will be the x-coordinates, where the blue curve and the green line intersect. We can see the graphs intersect at precisely two points. The coordinates of these intersection points are 0, 3, and 1. 3. This confirms that our algebraic solutions x equals 0 and x equals 1 are correct. Let's summarize the final result. By transforming the initial exponential equation into a quadratic form, we have rigorously determined that there are two and only two solutions, x equals 0 and x equals 1. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more mental math challenges.